What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is all about the Phantom Network. Phantom is an EVM compatible chain, notable for being closely affiliated with Andre Cronier, who's a DeFi legend and founder of Urine Finance, and also because it has very high transactions per second and near zero. Fees. There's something like one cent for most transactions, sometimes less. Phantom has garnered increased attention recently, both because of the high fees on Ethereum and also because they announced an incentive program at the end of August. Their incentive program is worth about $400 million right now, uh, and it differs from Avalanche's incentive program, Avalanche Rush, because where Avalanche is providing incentives to liquidity providers on their network, Phantom Foundation is instead providing incentives to developers. And you can see that they mentioned they're, they're looking to recruit dev teams. Time will tell which of these strategies is more effective, but on this channel, we are chain agnostic. We're building wealth across multiple layer ones, so we'll set ourselves up to succeed either way. With that, let's jump into the video. So the first thing that you'll need in order to start yield farming on Phantom is you'll need to connect your MetaMask to the Phantom Network and deposit some of the native Phantom FTM tokens in there. I have a separate video linked down below on how to do this if you haven't done it yet. Once your MetaMask is connected to Phantom, we're ready to begin. First place I always recommend going for looking at uh, dApps on, in uh, DeFi projects is DeFiLlama.com. So you can go there and navigate to Chains and then Phantom or DeFiLlama.com slash chain slash phantom. And here you'll see all these projects. There's 35 of them, ranging from $200,000 on Shiba Phantom, whatever that is, all the way up to almost a billion dollars on any swap. Although Spooky Swap is typically considered to be the flagship DeFi project on Phantom. So this you'll uh, this this is a great resource if you want to just hop in here and start going through some of these protocols and checking them out and seeing if any of them interest you as an investment or as a, as a tool to use. In this, uh, in this video, I'll cover most of the top seven. Unfortunately, I can't cover Scream because they have a geo block on the US, so I can't even access the website to show it to you guys. This is DeFi Llama. Again, just great resource overall, not just on Phantom. Next up, we have Spooky Swap. Spooky Swap is the largest and flagship DEX and AMM on Phantom, also a yield farm. So this is the first place and probably the simplest place if you want to start farming on Phantom. You can see they have their swap feature, and although the UI is a bit different, this is pretty similar to something like Pancake Swap or Sushi Swap. You can swap between the native tokens on Phantom. Boo is the native token of Spooky swap. You can see that a lot of the tokens on Phantom have uh, have a bit of a ghost ghost theme to them. There's Baby Boo. There's let's see. There's a few Death. That, I wouldn't buy that one just because of the name. Um, there's Spirit. We'll talk about later. Tomb is another one. So so there's kind of a ghost graveyard theme on a lot of these things. You can provide liquidity on here, of course. And you can farm. I may do a, another video on the step-by-step -step how to on this, but for this video, I'll assume that most people have a basic understanding of how to use these, how to use these apps, and I'm instead just going to go through and, and cover the variety of apps that are on Phantom. And here you can see the APRs are not fantastic, something like 30 to 70 percent on most of them. Uh, if this boo price climbs up, then perhaps these APRs will get better. But in the meantime, this is a uh, Still a decent place if you want to start earning some earning some good fees. So USDC Phantom, for example, which is going to be relatively safe, you're still getting 60%, which is which is quite respectable. Uh, they also have a bridge. I covered this in my other video about depositing FTM tokens. You can bridge from Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and a few other places. That is Spooky Swap. Next up, we have the competitor to Spooky Swap, Spirit Swap. Keeping with the ghost theme, 
let's enter the app. You can see they are audited while we wait for that. So this is another incentivized AMM. They have a couple interesting features though that differentiate themselves. So the exchange, again, uh, while it's loading, I'll, I'll just say it's, it's pretty much the same as any other AMM exchange you would see. Uh, they have a nice chart here. Uh, they have a nice chart here. They have uh, a zap feature, so similar to Trader Joe if you've used that, where you can turn one token directly into an LP token. And then they have their farms as well. So first they have their standard farms. Let's see, I'll wait for this to load. They have their standard farms and these APRs are, here we go. These APRs are, are not too high, to be honest. Uh, you can see that they're, they're probably similar, maybe a bit below, a bit below spooky swap, and that's just a function of the, of the spirit price. Spirit is the native token of spirit swap. They also have their boosted farms, and so this is where things get a bit unique. Here you can see the APR ranges from 55% all the way up to 140% on Spirit Phantom. So quite, quite significant. And, and uh, what this is, is that it depends on how much in Spirit you have. So it says you can use your in Spirit uh, to vote on which farms you'd like to boost. And the more votes a boosted farm receives, the more emissions it will receive. Your in spirit also affects your individual APR rate. So if you buy spirit tokens for spirit swap, you can hop over to the in spirit section here and lock them up for a certain amount of time, one week, one month, all the way up to, it looks like it says max time. A second ago it said four years, so we'll assume it's four years. Uh, you can lock that up and get in spirit and then use that to boost the APR on your farms. Uh, Quite an interesting dynamic. Um, if you're going to do this, I would be sure to bust out Excel and do some calculations on it's worth it because in scheme of DeFi on a speculative yield farm like this, if you're locking up a token for two years or four years, uh, no offense to anyone, uh, but I, I would assume that it's gone, right? Right. Even if, for all you know, in that time, the, the price could, could go up 10x and then crash 99%. So I, I would just... Be sure that it's going to be worth it if you if you're locking it up for a long period of time. And there's some interesting features here. So this is Spirit Swap, a pretty interesting take on your standard yield farm. One I've got my eye on for sure. Next up, we have Curve. You can get to the Phantom version of Curve by going to ftm.curve.fi, fi, or you can go to the regular version of Curve and change the network up at the top here. If you're not familiar with Curve, uh, it is a platform for earning yields on, uh, I suppose, what you might call um, the wrapped version of different assets. So you could trade WBTC and REN BTC, or you can trade uh, multi different stable coins, so DAI and USDC, or here a four pool with four different stable coins. So they're notable for the three pools and their four pools where you have you have three or four coins pooled together for liquidity. Uh, and then you can see they also have their Tri Crypto, which is a stable coin, RAT BTC, and ETH. And this is really the only, only pool on Phantom that jumps out as having a decent APY with 41%. That's pretty good for, for three fairly safe coins. That is curved. Not much to see here. They're it's not quite as widely used as it is on Polygon, or certainly not as much as it is on ETH, but a decent place to just earn some earn some yields on maybe maybe some profits that you take on the Phantom Network. And that is a curve. Next up, we have our yield aggregator. So if you're providing liquidity on these different platforms, you may want to aggregate aggregate your farms in one place and Beefy Finance is not perfect, but it does allow you to aggregate many of them. To get here, you would go to app.beefyfinance slash pound slash phantom. Uh, I'll include a link to that below as well. Here you can select a platform. You can see there's a number of them, including Spirit Swap and Spooky Swap. 
Uh, and this is also a decent place to find new APRs or new uh, new uh, platforms. So for example, right now it's sorted by APY and you can see some of these have 348 billion percent APY, 100 billion percent APY. I don't know anything about JetSwap, so this isn't an endorsement of that. Um, 1,000% APY, 800%. Deposits are paused on this one. I think they had some kind of exploit on Steakhouse, if I recall. Um, yeah, so there, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of different ones here. They've got Spooky Swap, they've got Spirit Swap, they've got Curve even. And, uh, and yeah, and, you, and you've got some good APYs, and you can just deposit your LP tokens in here. So rather than depositing your LP tokens over on the Spooky Swap farms, you can bring it over to Beefy Finance and deposit them here, and then you can see all of your all of your uh, farms from different platforms in one place. Plus the little auto compound, which is also very nice. So you won't need to be harvesting and and uh, converting and redepositing your rewards. This is Beefy Finance. Uh, big fan of this. Oh, and by the way, you can also you can also uh, filter both by the the platform, also by the vault type. So you can filter to stable coins, and you can even filter to the asset. So suppose you wanted to look for pools where you were had phantom on one side of it. If you're in the phantom network, probably you're trying to accumulate accumulate phantom tokens. So I think this makes sense. So you might you might go through here and look for these. This is Beefy Finance. And last but not least, we have Tarot. This is a fairly unique project. Uh, not every network has something like it. But uh, what this is, is it's lending and borrowing, uh, but also leverage farming. So this is, this is kind of interesting. And so, uh, for example, say you wanted to lend out your phantom. The supply APRs here is going to be how much uh, APR you would receive for lending out an asset on either side of this pool. So uh, what makes what makes this unique is that the lending is actually pool dependent. So you can see here, you'd earn 42.6% for lending out your phantom. Here you'd only get 38.3%. Here you'd get 44% and so on. So they're all comparable, but but they do vary. So what, what you're doing here is you are lending out your assets, and then some other people would borrow those to either hold, because they're bullish on the asset, or, or they'd borrow it and then use it to leverage yield farm on this platform. So let's take a look at one of these pools in more depth. We'll look at the... Phantom Spirit Pool, because I deposited a bit on here, just for demonstration purposes. So if you want to uh, lend, you would of course go to the Lend platform and you could supply Phantom, you could supply Spirit, and then your uh, APRs are going to be 40% or 25% respectively. Or if you're on the other side of it, you may want to uh, borrow. And so this is a collateralized loan, which means that you have to provide collateral which can be liquidated if the value of your loan drops too low. Here I deposited FTM Spirit as collateral, so you have to have to deposit a liquidity pool token as collateral. And with that, I can do one of three things. I can borrow FTM, I can borrow Spirit, or I can leverage this up and then hop over here and yield firm. Uh, for example, if I wanted to borrow Spirit uh, Phantom, you can see that I could uh, do up to 2.37% leverage right now. And the interesting thing about this is that I would actually get paid for borrowing this. So I would be paying a 68% APR. However, you earn Taro tokens, so the native token of Taro platform, in exchange for borrowing this. And those would come out to 163% APR. So, so I would actually be getting paid to to uh, borrow this amount, which is which is quite nice. 
Um, or the other thing you could do is you could leverage up. So what you would do here is you would choose uh, the amount of leverage that you wanted. Here you can see, I think this has to do with impermanent loss. Uh, because it's a liquidity pool token as collateral, there's actually a range of values. And if it goes outside of this range, then you get liquidated. So right now the, the price is 7.121. Say I leveraged up 4x, not 40, 4x, then the price has to stay, stay between 4.16 and 12.56, otherwise get liquidated. Uh, and then with this, what, what you would do is you would leverage up your, your LP tokens and use them to leverage yield farm. So suppose you had a pool you were really bullish on. Uh, I think right now Tarot has Spooky Swap and Spirit Swap. Then you could take this here and you're going to be earning 319% APR. So almost 1% a day, uh, pretty nice. Tough to complain about that, I suppose, unless you get liquidated then. Then it would be pretty easy to complain about that. Um, and, and again, you're going to be earning, you're going to be earning tarot for this. This is tarot, uh, and, and I don't know if the token, uh, how the token is going to do. If if I were doing this personally, um, I would probably just compound the gains into whatever pool I was leverage yield farming. Um, that's how you can kind of get get the very significant compound interest if you're having. 1% a day in gains, and you're just compounding those daily or weekly. Uh, that's everything there is with tarot, again, lending, borrowing, leverage, yield, farming. I personally don't use much leverage, but I know for some people that's that's their bread and butter. That's all I got today for the Phantom Network. Uh, let me know if there's any other protocols you all are using on Phantom, and let me know if there's any other networks you want me to cover. Right now on this, on this channel, we're talking about Avalanche, we're talking about Terra, Cosmos, Solana, Phantom. If there's anything else you want me to cover, then I will gladly see if I can make a video about it. That's all for today. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.